welcome everyone. I want to welcome you here to our practice, whether you're practicing in the morning, afternoon, or evening. Thank you for really showing up and being here today. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Komen Ozark and Lauren Marquette, the director there, as well as her amazing staff who really support um, the women here in Northwest Arkansas. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, my name is Coral Rose, and in 2008, I was diagnosed with breast, breast cancer. I was one of 49 women in the Northwest Arkansas area that was diagnosed um, utilizing funds from Komen Ozark. So I uh, definitely, um, Komen is an organization very, very close to my heart and so grateful to them. Um, I really want to welcome you to this practice. This practice is um, for all levels. Uh, I'm a 500 hour registered yoga teacher in the very yoga style, which is a sustainable, safe style. So this is a yoga for every body and every body. Uh, the practice that I teach is on the gentler side and is really a mindful yoga nidra practice um, with some asanas and poses. It's all levels. There are no levels in uh, the courses that I teach. Um, you can do this class uh, sitting down on the floor, sitting on a block or a bolster, or sitting in a chair. And I'm going to go ahead and have uh, Lauren put in the, uh, with along with the video in uh, the text there, some instructions on what to bring to um, this uh, practice. So if you haven't done so already, for the practice today, either be in a chair, um, sitting down, you can be on the floor, back against the wall, or you can be seated like I am. Um, sitting on a bolster pillow um, will help raise your hips higher than your knees, alleviating some of that lower back pressure. So if you'd like to do that now, please go ahead and do that. Um, towards the end of the practice. The reason we're asking for blankets is um, the primary uh, yoga style I teach along with some asanas and poses and some mindfulness is yoga nidra. And yoga nidra is sleep. So we're gonna sleep, we're gonna get some deep rest and I'll tell you a little bit about that in a, in a moment. So that's why you wanna have at least three blankets with you, um, a small pillow, eye mask or washcloth with you for the practice today. So I just want to take a moment and honor and acknowledge all of you. I'm so honored to be here and just really um, uh, to be part of this community, um, survivors, thrivers, and the newly diagnosed. Um, it doesn't matter where you're at in your journey. Um, yoga is uh, a deep healing practice. It'll take you within. Unlike many of you, and I'd like to timestamp this, today's Monday, March 30th, 2020, and I've been at home for about um, two weeks. I'm having groceries delivered and uh, just hearing, I believe, yesterday what will be on social distancing uh, for another 30 days. So it makes these practices we're going to do this evening, morning or afternoon, wherever you're choosing to do it and however, um, just absolutely um, something that's so needed right now uh, at this time. So these practices all will boost the immune system, take you into deep rest. And um, given the situation with the virus, um, I just want to acknowledge all of you in uh, the journey you've been on and also the newly diagnosed. Um, our thoughts and prayers are with you at this time if you're newly diagnosed going through this journey. And Komen hosted actually a meeting with uh, some top doctors, I believe a few days ago. You can find it on this site. Go ahead and listen to that. If you're, especially if you're newly diagnosed, I felt that there was a lot of information for those, um, for those ladies and, and gentlemen that might be going through this at this time. Um, when I started thinking, I guess about three weeks ago, started hearing more about the virus and everything that was happening. And I really started to think, wow, this really is similar. And, and I was connecting it to the journey, my perspective and the journey 
that I went through, many of us go through um, when we're diagnosed and through treatment and, and ongoing with, with breast cancer. And th the way that I got through that, I believe, is how some of us might get through this. It's, it's again, my perspective on this. So really thinking back to that time, how I got through that was, number one, through love and support of my family and friends, through community. We're all in this together. And I know when you're on that journey, um, you, you're focused on your community, your family, your friends, and that real support, um, those that um, are gonna be there, sort of be on your team. Um, also, what my practice was gratitude. Um, the only thing you're gonna um, catch or spread in this practice this evening is gratitude, love, and joy. So, um, and, and with that being said, gratitude is such a beautiful practice and such a powerful practice for boosting the immune system. So during that journey, um, just getting up uh, every day in gratitude, putting one foot in front of the other, like so many of you, and breathing. Breathing is a, uh, it's the main practice of yoga. We're gonna do some breath work tonight. And then also keeping our distance and staying away from people that aren't healthy, people that are sick. Sounds familiar to anybody that's been on the breast cancer journey and, uh, and through treatment, keeping our distance, um, staying away, keeping our immune system boosted and strong. All the practices we go through in this practice boost the immune system and access your inner healer. And we'll get to that in a moment. Um, and then the last thing for me that was there through this journey that really made a difference when I'm, I'm looking at what, what were the things that really got me through. And um, the final one was one of the most important, right? Faith. Um, just my faith and what I know to be true and that everything's going to be okay. So, and that's how I look at this journey, our journey through the virus, the, the eight weeks that we're going to all go through this together um, in most areas of, of the world. It's an eight, 12 week journey. It's really love and support of your friends, uh, getting up every day, gratitude, breathing, keeping your distance, boosting your immune system, and just having that faith that you're gonna be okay. So um, again, we're all in this together. Reach out, reach out to your community, to your family, your friends, and to those that might be alone at this time. So I'm gonna tell you um, a little bit about um, uh, this practice that um, I teach. And it's all about going inward and accessing um, the uh, parasympathetic nervous system, taking us into rest and digest. We're calming the mind, letting go of, of thoughts, distractions. We're accessing the inner healer. Um, we're in rest and digest, calmness versus fight, flight, fight, freeze, or fear. It's a big one right now, fear. We wanna be in that peace. This practice really, really facilitates that. And all of that put together, we're strengthening our immune system. So, so important, especially to all of us that still may need a boost even years later. Um, and we do that through two different ways, through sound, inner and outer sound. Uh, outer sound would be um, bowls. I'll play some singing bowls here, gong. Um, listening to music, um, it's the inner vibration, accessing that inner healer, exhaling, taking long exhales. When you're exasperated and you just need to take a breath and calm down, naturally, a lot of us, I know that I do, be like this. <sighs> well, that's a practice you can do anytime. Instantly calms your nervous system. So inner, inner, in outer healing, inner healing, sometimes singing. If you're singing, you love to sing, well, guess what? As you're singing at the top of your lungs, whether you're in the shower or in the car, that's actually a healing response to your body. 
signaling to your body, it's resting. It's okay, you're going into that rest or digest. So um, with that, I'm gonna tell you how the practice is gonna go. Really simple, it, I break it down into three parts. We're gonna go inward, letting go of the mind, distractions, thoughts, fears, things that keep us bound, anger, resentment, past and fear, living in the monkey mind, that's something we wanna let go of. It just is a lot of chatter and keeps us, again, usually in the past or the future and not the now. It's where we wanna be. We're gonna do some asanas, some poses, just a few. Primary um, importance here um, to all of us here, especially, um, I'm gonna talk about myself putting more candles on the cake as we all get older, again, myself. Um, we wanna keep the spine moving. We're gonna move the spine in six different directions. Again, you can do this sitting down like I am or in a chair, either way. So, so important every day to move your spine in six directions. I'll go through that during the asana portion. If you find yourself um, at still in treatment, just coming out of treatment, perfect. This is a perfect practice for you. I'll show modifications. And if all you do through the time that we're together today is just sit and breathe, that's perfect. So, um, and you're welcome to join us wherever you're at. Um, I'll show you some modifications and, and um, we won't be using any straps or uh, bolsters or blocks today. If you have those, you can bring them into the room with you. And then um, we'll be doing a short yoga nidra practice. My primary teaching um, that I teach is I guide students through um, it, yoga nidra. Um, yoga is union, union, body, mind, spirit, soul. And then yoga nidra, nidra translates to sleep. So um, yes, we're gonna sleep for a little bit. And uh, through this practice of yoga nidra, you, you can sit in a chair or lay down. What you do is through listening to my voice, and that's all there is to do, um, the only sense that you're going to use in that practice is the sense of hearing sound. You're gonna just listen to my voice. Be with whatever arises. If you fall asleep, you snore, you cough, it's all perfect. Those are just ways our bodies are getting rid of stagnant energy. We're gonna go beyond the mind to just under deep sleep where you can get a deep rest. That's where you're accessing the rest or digest. Um, they say an hour of yoga nidra, we're not gonna do an hour tonight, is worth four hours of sleep. It's all also documented um, to treat anxiety, depression, and the US military utilizes it to treat PTSD. Um, it's uh, a beautiful practice, and I personally had a um, spontaneous healing from it uh, about three years ago, which I won't go into right now. And maybe I'll post that. I'll have Lauren post that along with the video. So after I read the Yoga Nidra, again, it's a short practice. The practice I teach at the yoga studio is a little bit longer. There'll be a silent portion, which you go into the practice and you go into that really deep rest. And I'll come back. So the video will go silent. I won't be talking. Don't worry. I'm coming back. I'll do a short reading and a close, and we'll end the practice. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. I'll give you a moment to get yourself situated, whether it's with um, a blanket, bolster, sitting on a pillow, sitting in a chair, or maybe up against a wall, um, so that you can um, have support on your back. I'll give you a moment to get yourself situated. And again, the first part we'll be doing is going within. So um, I like to start the classes and end the classes with a reading, just a reflection, um, just going inside a reflection. Um, as we're all called to stay inside the social distancing, to stay inside the home, to me it's really just um, the home is, is we're staying in. That's in the physical and in the physical body going inward. That's why these practices become so important um, when 
we're asked to stay in and go within, um, whether you live alone with other people or maybe with kids, you're homeschooling. Find yourself a little room where you can come, whether you sit down every day, just close your eyes, you pray, you meditate, or you just sit in silence. It's, it's um, just a perfect way to go within. So with that, let's go ahead and I'll start by reading. Um, this is uh, something called Gratitude by Melody Beatty. Gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos to order, confusion to clarity. It can turn a meal into a feast, a house into a home, a stranger into a friend, and gratitude makes sense of our past, brings peace for today, and creates a vision for tomorrow. So let's go ahead and start to settle in First part of the practice, again, we'll be going inward, which I call embodied presencing. Second part will be our asana. And then the third part will be um, our yoga nidra practice. So let's start to settle in wherever you're at, sitting down comfortably. Um, just you might wanna move around, move your sit bones around, get comfortable wherever you're seated. And just go ahead and bring your shoulders back, your chin up, smile. Always good to smile. Ah, let's just take an inhale and a deep exhale, opening this practice. Inhale. <sighs> Perfect. Great. Okay, bring the shoulders back, the chin tall. Loosen your jaw. And just start to become aware of your body. Just your body in the room. And now... Let's go ahead and go through our breathing for this evening. We're going to be going through the three-part breath. Um, what's important in this practice is that you breathe always smoothly and naturally to your own body's rhythm with smooth and even breaths. So the three-part breath is uh, very simple, inhaling and exhaling to the count of three. Now, if you're at a two, that's great. If you're at a four, perfect. A five, great. There's also a great app called the Breathing App, um, which I have on my phone, and it has a great visual. So I invite you to, to just go ahead and look at that maybe after um, practice today, see if that's right for you. So the three-part breath goes like this, and I'm gonna do the count of three. Just inhale. Today I might even be at a two. So just go ahead and start to breathe smoothly and naturally to your own body's rhythm. Inhaling and exhaling. And don't worry about counting, just doing it. Whatever comes natural to you. And just begin to move inward. Focusing on your breath. Letting go of any thoughts, any distractions. Anything that you didn't get done today might be on your to-do list. Just being here now in the moment. And resting in the presence. As you're noticing your breath, just notice on the exhale, you naturally expand. And expansion is what our practice is about. We're expanding. Our body's in a constant state of tension and constriction. Our practice today is about expansion. So as you're breathing, notice where you might be holding any tension and just let it go. Let it dissolve, let it melt away.
And as you're breathing, going inward, just imagine that you're empty. You're just empty inside. Continue relaxing your facial muscles, your jaw. Relaxing the skin on your face, your eyelids, your nose, your cheeks, your lips, and your chin. And breathing. Breathing in that emptiness so that your body becomes empty like a hollow drum. Now focus on the heart, breathing in and out of the middle of your chest. And I invite you to go ahead and put your hands on your heart, one hand over the other, and just breathe in and out of the center of your chest. And as you're breathing, just become aware of your heartbeat. Feel your heartbeat. It's your vibration. And send gratitude to your heart. Gratitude for life. Continue breathing in out of the center of your chest. Just sending your own heart gratitude and just sending just the gratitude for life to the others in the room, if there are any with you. And just sending that gratitude for life, for health, and just being here with gratitude for waking up today and living a wonderful life, a healthy life. And now send that gratitude outside the room, maybe to the others in the house with you or the building. And just now send that gratitude for life and health and happiness just out outside the building or the home, out into the city, to the county, to the state. Just send that out to the whole U.S. So in need of gratitude and health and blessings at this, at this time. And just send that gratitude out to the whole world across the ocean to every country. And just wrapping your heart around the whole world today. That the world comes into perfect health and harmony. Offering that gratitude, perfect health and harmony back to you Feel your heart again on your hands. Just knowing whatever you send out always comes back to you. And become aware of your breath. And now bring your hands to your lap. Focus on your breath, inhaling and exhaling. slowly start to bring your awareness back to the room that you're in and slowly
slowly open your eyes. We're going to go ahead and start our asana practice. I'll let you just move around a little bit. We've been sitting a little bit. If you'd like to stretch out your legs, if you've been seated, now's a great time to do that. Um, you can't see my feet, but I'm actually moving my ankles like I'm moving my wrists. So if you'd like to move your wrists and your ankles right now in circles, that's uh, a good practice. And go the other way. Okay. We're going to start off with um, Sukhasana pose. We're only going to do really two poses this evening. And uh, we're just opening again, um, opening the heart, uh, utilizing the breath, opening up the lungs, and moving the spine in six different directions while we're boosting our immune system in all our practices. So um, for those of you that are um, maybe just out of surgery or still within the first year, I know for me, my first yoga class, I learned to modify um, because I couldn't lift my arms. It took me over a year to be able to lift my arms up to here. Um, I'm sure many of you have experienced that. So anytime I raise my arms up, um, please be wherever you're at in the practice, be mindful of your own body, um, whatever's going on right now in your body. Just take the um, appropriate um, uh, care of your body this evening and always do what your body's asking of you. That's yoga builds that awareness for the body. So when I'm lifting my arms, if you can't lift your arms, I've been there. So lift your arms to wherever you're at, here, here, um, cactus is something that um, a lot of women um, start with right out of surgery. Cactus here, cactus here, um, or like this. So just know that you can bring your, your hands um, up. They, to wherever you're at is perfect. Um, in the twist, when we twist, you don't have to raise your arm wherever you're at. You can twist like this if you're able to do that or you can twist like this if our arms are up. Um, when we're um, doing our cat cows, inhaling and exhaling, if that's too much um, uh, due to any um, issues from surgery or healing, then just breathe. It's all perfect. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Sukhasana is easy seated pose, and we're just gonna go ahead and bring our um, shoulders back, our chin up, loosen our jaw. And we're just gonna start by rolling our shoulders. Again, being mindful of anything that's going on in your body right now. And then roll them the other way. And then just let's uh, stretch our neck out a little. So let's take our chin and drop the chin to the chest and inhale back up and exhale again. And inhale back up and one more time. And then inhale up. We're stretching out the back of the neck that way. And just side to side at your own pace. Moving your neck nice and gently. In all these poses, we like to move the body gently. Just keep a bend in your elbow, your knees anytime you're in yoga. Okay, well, let's go ahead and start our um, Sukhasana pose. And what we're going to do is just lift ourselves up, spine straight, nice and tall. Inhale, looking up. And palms out. Exhale, looking down. Again, bring your arms wherever you're at. Inhale, looking up. Exhaling, palms out, looking down. This time, inhale up. And on the exhale, bring it back and your nose and your head back to neutral. Inhale up again. This time we're gonna go ahead and twist to the right. And inhale and twist to the left. And inhale. 
exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. You guys are doing great. Inhaling, exhaling, and this time, let's go ahead and just look over our outer shoulder. A little more stretch to the neck. And again, your arm can be behind you, wherever you're at, wherever you're comfortable in the practice. Inhale both arms up, looking forward, exhaling to the other side, and then looking over that outer shoulder. Perfect, very good. Let's inhale and bring our arms back to our knees. Let's do our cat cows. So um, there's a few ways to do this. If you're not able to move for cat cow, just sit there and breathe. But otherwise, cat cow is simply a forward bend, inhaling, heart to sky, I call it, and then exhaling, rounded back, and inhaling, and exhaling, and inhaling, and exhaling and come back to neutral. Um, these cat cows, this movement is very good for spinal movement every day. Um, as many of you know that have practiced yoga before, um, you can do this on your knees in a chair standing up. So another way that um, we do uh, this movement of cat cow really opens up the chest and the lungs and the heart area. So I'll do this twice, um, and this may work for some of you um, better than this does. And let's go ahead and just inhale our arms up, heart to sky, and exhale back on our knees. And inhale, heart to sky. And exhale, back on our knees. And then uh, let's come on up to neutral. Okay, so we're gonna get a nice side, side bend in here as well. So let's inhale our arms up and then go ahead and exhale, putting your right hand down and the other arm, just coming over for a nice side bend. You can bend the elbow on your right, uh, the right side to get a deeper stretch if that's where you're at. If your arms are not that mobile, Let's go ahead and just bring them to here or just keep them here and just come into a nice side twist like this. Inhale up the other side. Inhale. Exhale. And keep smiling. Last one, inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and arms to knees. So we've just moved the spine in six directions. Six directions are one, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. And now let's do a, a mandala asana and just rotate our spine um, the bottom of our spine this is also very good to do just whichever way you want to rotate just go ahead and do that and then go the other way and then back to center good job we're going to do um, what i call the Tao breath and this is a great um, opener for your shoulders, your elbows, your hands, and your wrists. And uh, again, go ahead and modify um, if your arms, um, if you're not um, yet there, I know you will be soon. It took me a year um, and a lot of practice to um, fingers off the wall. So, and once you do get um, that movement back, if that's your situation, what I found through yoga is um, yoga naturally releases um, all the toxins from the lymphatic system. 
So it, I, I do notice when I'm not practicing as much, um, I do notice a lot of that lymph fluid. So um, it's another great reason to, if you don't have a practice of yoga, to um, start with some simple, simple things. So let's go ahead, inhale our arms up. Again, I call this the Tao breath. Exhale, cross behind the heads and push out. Inhaling, fingertips in, pushing out. On the exhale, palms up in gratitude, a lot of gratitude this evening. Inhale and exhale. Let's do that again. Inhale, nice and tall, spine tall. Crossing the hands behind the head, pushing out, fingertips in, exhale. Palms up in gratitude, inhale, and a bow. Okay, one more time. Inhale, exhale. It's really good for opening all the joints in the upper body. Inhaling, fingertips in, pushing out. And let's go ahead and we're sending good energy to everybody for health and healing. Let's tap here in the middle of our palms one of the heart meridians. The focus we have on the heart tonight. Palms up always in gratitude, palms up receptivity in yoga. Inhaling and a bow, exhaling. Okay, excellent, 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 great job. Um, that last pose that we did, if you can't lift your arms or have that limited mobility, Remember, as we're crossing behind the head, you don't need to do that. Just go ahead and lift your arms, bring it to your fingertips, meet us there, and then push out. Come in. Pushing out, palms up, receiving, and then crossing your arms, coming to your heart center. So modify, use, your intuition, let that guide you through some of the poses, whether it's in this practice or another practice. There are a lot of great videos out there online um, since um, most of the yoga studios are closed right now. So um, just check them out and um, you can always leave comments um, when Lauren posts this on the Komen Ozark um, site. I'll read the comments and try to answer any questions that you might have. Um, so let's go ahead and get ready for our yoga nidra practice. Um, again, all there is to do is to listen to my voice. And the way that we set up in the studio for yoga nidra is we just go ahead and lay blankets down. Um, you'll want to lay blankets on um, sort of like I have my, uh, my mat here, about the length of a yoga mat. You might have a mat. It's always good to put a blanket down, um, put a blanket over you, maybe put socks on. Um, it's if you're cold your body temperature does drop in this practice and uh, I'll let you get comfortable and it is advisable to do this in a room that's dimly lit uh, and use a washcloth a um, eye mask eye pillow um, if you have one if not I've used uh, a washcloth um, a lot of times um, the uh, lavender and things they put in the eye pillows bother me. So a lot of times I just use a washcloth. Um, you can do yoga at home with towels and um, don't need a lot of expensive yoga equipment. So blankets and pillows work great. So I'll give you a moment to set up for that. Um, and I'll be reading through the practice. Yoga Nidra is a uh, it's a, a systematic process for accessing the parasympathetic nervous system when we do it through a rotation of consciousness. And I'll be reading um, part of it's a script. It's scripted, I'll say that. I go ahead and insert the script and to where it needs to be to move us in into our inner self, into that deep healing.
So start to make yourself comfortable and settling into your mat or blanket, covering yourself, just wiggling around so you can remain, um, remain still through the practice. And that being said, be with whatever arises. If you move, you move. You sneeze, you cough, you snore, you fall asleep. We will be silent for several minutes. It's perfect. It's whatever your body needs today in this moment. And that being said, every yoga nidra practice is different. Every practice, um, I practice often, several times a week, and every practice for me is different as well. So, start to settle in. Uh, whether you're against a wall, seated in a chair, or in Shavasana position. Savasana, Shavasana is just laying down like you're laying in bed. Your legs are straight out, hip distance apart, let your feet fall wherever they are, and your hands down to your side, palms up in receptivity, but be with what, wherever your body's comfortable. If you can't put your hands to your side, Go ahead and, and put them wherever you'd like them. Uh, it is advisable to decide if that's accessible to you versus on your um, on your body. But if again that's where your accessibility is, please please be there. So start to settle in, settle in, getting comfortable, being comfortable on the surface you're resting upon. and breathing smoothly and naturally to your own body's rhythm through the practice. With those smooth, even inhales and exhales. Begin to settle in and make sure that you're balanced, your left and your right side, that one side's not higher than the other. That your eyes are closed. And start to just begin to become aware of the air in the room. Maybe the air is cool, maybe it's warm. Become aware of the blankets on your body, the weight of the blankets on your body, or maybe the clothes on your body, the weight of the clothes on your body. And just feel your body sinking into the mat to the blanket, into the floor, into the earth. We're always connected to the earth. And gravity, we're grateful for the gravity that holds us here. We can't see the gravity, but we know it's there, just like the air. We know air is there. We breathe it, we can't see it. And these practices work with these, the same subtle, subtle energy layers in our body. We can't see them, but they're there. Begin to soften the skin on your forehead, your face, your cheeks, your nose, your chin, loosen your jaw. Now drop your head into the blanket, into the floor. Drop your shoulders. Now drop your arms and your torso, your hips, and your thighs, your knees, your ankles and your feet. Yoga Nidra is the practice of deep rest, renewal, and rejuvenation. Each time you practice, your whole body moves into the parasympathetic nervous system, allowing life to unfold peacefully and naturally into your own natural state of deep healing. No previous experience is needed, and there's no wrong way to do this. If you fall asleep, that's okay. Just continue to rest your full body on the mat, on the floor, into the earth, allowing the earth to hold you. Now feel the weight of your body drop and feel held by the earth, feeling safe and supported by the surface your body's resting upon. Now bring your attention to the sounds outside the building you're in. Now bring your awareness to the sounds inside the building. Now become 
aware of the sounds inside the room. Now continue to release your facial muscles and jaw and any tension in your shoulders, neck, and head. Continue to breathe smoothly and naturally to your own body's rhythm. Continue breathing, noticing your breath. Now observe the body breathing. Now scan your body beginning in your head, letting go of any tension that is arising. Now let go of your thoughts, and if thoughts come and go, just let them go. Take a moment to focus on your heart and ask your heart what it is you're grateful for in this very moment. Now feel that gratitude in your heart. Feel it and know it, that gratitude. Feeling that in your heart, let it spread let it spread in all directions. Let it spread to the others in the room like we did earlier, the building, outside the building. And just take, take what's in your heart and just spread that out across the globe tonight, the planet, to all of humanity. And again, just bringing that gratitude, whatever that is you feel in your heart right now, bringing that back to yourself. 
knowing that what we let go comes back time and time again. Now bring your awareness to all your toes, both heels, now your feet, now both calves, and breathe as you continue to relax your calves. Now your shins, your knees, and continue to release all the tension in your knees. Now bring awareness to your thighs and relax your sit bones and hips. Relax and drop your sacrum into the mat and bring awareness to your abdomen. Now feel the wave of relaxation to your lower back as you inhale and exhale. Draw your breath into your upper back and continue to release all the tension in your shoulders. Relax your upper arms, elbow, forearm, wrists, and every finger. Continue to relax your neck, chin, jaw, lips, nose, tip of nose, eyes, eyebrows, forehead, and the crown of your head. You are now resting in pure awareness, aware of all that is now present, joy, peace, and a pure sense of calm. The experience of pure awareness, everything just as it is, and yourself just as you are. Safe, loved, healthy, whole, perfect, and complete. Now feel the awareness of that peace pervade your whole body and rest in the present stillness for a few more minutes.
Now say to yourself silently, love, peace, and joy in my body, my breath, my mind and emotions, and always in my heart. The further I wake into this life, the more I realize that love is everywhere and the extraordinary is waiting quietly beneath the skin of all that is ordinary. Light is in the both, the broken bottle and the diamond, and music is in both the flowing violin and the water dripping from the drainage pipe. Yes, love is under the porch as well as on top of the mountain, and joy is both in the front row and in the bleachers, if we are willing to be where we are in this now moment and meet each moment as it arises within our own heart. I invite you to start to bring your awareness back to the room. Notice the air in the room, your body in the room. And start to feel the skin on the palms of your hands, your fingertips, the soles of your feet, tips of your toes. Bring awareness to your hands, to your feet to your facial muscles. You might want to start to move your hands and your feet. You might want to do twists like we did earlier. Start to move them. And as you slowly, you always want to slowly come back from this practice, being mindful, being aware of where you're at and slow to integrate into the rest of your day or evening. You feel free to stay like that or bring one knee up and then the other. And I invite you, if you'd like to roll on over to what I call your safe side, your most comfortable side into that embryo position. And just curl up and stay there for a moment bringing that awareness back to your body and in this embryo position. I call this the pose of remembering. This is actually um, where our, we felt held and nourished and, and where, we, uh, where our heart beat for the first time. It's where a lot of us retreat to when we want to go within to feel held and nourished. We're here for nine months, being connected to our source, being held, love. A lot of times, many of us are still looking for that, that sense of belonging. Just knowing that you're always connected to your source. A lot of us sleep like this, curled up when we're sick and not feeling well, our body naturally moves into this. And just stay there for a moment if you'd like. And just feeling held and feeling nourished. Now I invite you to either stay like that and rest comfortably, fall asleep, if you're asleep, that's perfect. Or you can just join us and uh, go ahead and sit up if you're not already in a chair sitting. And we'll just close the class out. It's been an honor, an honor and a privilege to share this time with you, to share this practice with you. Um, I send you love and blessings of perfect health and harmony at this time. Um, it's a unique time on our planet, so our thoughts and um, our prayers are with um, everyone. My thoughts and prayers are with all of you, with your families, um, and with everyone at this time, everyone on the planet. So we're going to go ahead and close with um, just a brief namaste and namaste.
Mother's Day is, for me, it's just really honoring the love and the light in every single one of you. And so I do that now with all my heart. I honor the love and the light in every single one of you and go forth and always be the light for yourself first and then for others. Namaste.